my name is Danzy and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be an upcycling video where I upcycle a few of cl the clothes that I already own. So I have four garments today so and I will show you what they are. First of all introduce my guest star. Oh, you probably can't even see him down here. It's chippy. That's why I'm sitting a little bit further away from the end there. <laughs> little munchkin. Okay let me show you guys what I have. So I sort of went through my wardrobe and I kind of tend to do this um every few months or so because ra well i guess my thing is i do donate items as well but then there are some items that i would rather first like change around or wear it a little bit more and then donate it i guess so and you and i'm sure you'll know if you follow me on like all my platforms you know that i have so many clothes <laughs> anyways okay so we've got um i've got a black top here it's just like a black single i don't know if you can see up close it has this like little gathering just at the front there. I'm not sure if you can see because it's black. Uh, I've realized lately that these tops that have this tiny little gathering here, whilst they look cute on a hanger, just don't suit me because like it only goes in this little bit and then it looks weird on me because I'm like bigger chested so it totally doesn't work for me. So I bought this top and maybe I've worn it once, maybe. I've had it for a while now and it was not expensive at all but I have no ideas for this yet, so we have to still think about what we're going to do, but it's just a black top, so we can definitely do something with that. Okay, so what I have here is a pair of jeans. So I got these jeans from Fashion Nova years back, like back when I lived in my apartment. I kind of worked a little bit with Fashion Nova, like they sent me some items and these jeans just didn't fit and they've never fit, but I kept them because I really liked the colour and I don't know about anyone else, but I sometimes when I think something's nice, I hold on to it because I think maybe one day I'll fit into it and now I'm like, really Stanzi, really? They're not even shaped for me because they just go like all the way straight down and the crotch area is like humongously high. When I put these against myself standing, they come up to here. So definitely not designed for my body. They're designed for like a taller person that's straighter. So anyways, I have actually have an idea for this already. These have rips down the bottom if you want to know. I just love the color. I'm going to turn this into a bag. I'm hoping I can do this. I saw Essie Golden on Instagram holding like a bag that was looked like a jeans bag. And that's so me. Like I love stuff like that. So I want to say I'm going to cut that off and see if I can turn this into a handbag. Because I would totally wear it. Like totally. Oh, peekaboo. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that. Uh, hopefully my sewing machine can handle it because I really need some good sewing. If not, I might have to hand stitch it. But we'll see. I'm hoping it's going to work. Okay, next I have uh, just a black dress. It's just a long black dress with some straps here. I think it's got like double straps. Yep, nothing too exciting. I mean, I have so many of these. These I got from Boohoo years ago. I don't really wear it because it's a touch on the like see-through side. And I have so many just like black plain dresses that I didn't, I don't really have a need for this. So what I want to do is tie dye it. Now, I don't know if it's going to work or not because the material is a little bit flimsy and like the, I'm going to do the bleach tie dye. It might like spread everywhere, but we'll give it a go. I mean, I don't mind. I don't, you know, I don't mind parting with this dress if it doesn't work out. But if it turns into tie dye, like it's something I really want to wear. So fingers crossed, I hope it's going to work. And lastly, I have this dress that I also got a few years back. I don't even know where I got this dress from. Let me... Uh, it doesn't... I don't know, this brand Curve Girl? Hmm, I wonder if they had sent me stuff. I don't know. We're going back years back. So it has this leather kind of uh, insert in the middle here. And when you look at it, like, it, it looks really, really nice. However... For me personally, I find it too short. Like for other people that, you know, have maybe thinner legs than myself would totally rock it. But I'm, you know, a little bit self-conscious about the thickness of my legs. So I like to wear things a little bit longer. And it's just, that's why I haven't worn it. So I'm thinking I want to turn it into a skirt. So if I, anyway, it doesn't sit that nice up the top here anywhere. Like this is a little bit hard. So I'm thinking of cutting it and turning it into a skirt so i really tried it on i've got like i've put a thing of where i think the skirt couldn't where i could cut it across however somehow i want to turn it into a skirt i've got a couple like interesting 
design things if, if I call it that to like how to turn into a skirt but we'll see I need to see if I have elastic at home because I'm definitely going to do elastic I think it's the easiest but we'll see how we go so um yeah so I'm going to turn that into a skirt and hopefully it's all going to work out but I'll bring you guys along for the process as I usually do of how I'm doing them and then we'll do it after so I can show you guys what they look like after all right so I'll catch you guys soon Okay, so I've laid the dress down flat because I'm going to start with this one. And I do have some elastic, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to measure it out on my waist first. However, I've... So I'm planning on cutting from there, so I'm going to go around there. So I'm going to cut it. I've got my scissors here. Just, just going to cross cut straight across and hopefully it's going to work. Ended up cutting it. I had to change scissors because those ones were just horrible and I did a pretty bodgy job cutting because I don't have any good scissors. I don't know what's wrong with them but we're now going to try and sew the elastic. Okay so what I've done is I've lightly put the elastic around like I've sewed a little bit by hand and now I'm going to try with the machine and go all the way around. I do hope it's going to work out. Okay, so we are now doing the dress and we're going to tie dye it. I'm just in my bathroom sink. I'm just going to scrunch it together and put some rubber bands on it and then we'll be back. Okay, this is what it looks like. All the rubber bands that I had. I have now mixed some bleach and water just in this empty bottle and I'm going to put it in the sink and then we're going to put it all over. So I'm just jumping in to add another item to my upcycling video because the black dress, this one, the one that I was going to tie dye was a fail. I did not realize that you needed your garment to be cotton in order to get it tie dyed. Now this dress is like 100% polyester so it's like not material that will tie dye. I put so much bleach on this and I popped it out in the sun and everything and I added more bleach and did not change color and I did not know this. So it took me a while to realize it's not going to work. The dress is all damaged, so I can't really do anything with it. Um, it's finished. It's just going to have to go in the bin, unfortunately, because it's just chemicaled all over. So that's unfortunately a fail, but I should have probably done my research before I thought of that. So anyway, I wanted to add another item instead. So I was just going through my cupboard and I found this denim skirt. This one that I have from Pretty Little Thing that I got a while back. Um, I really love this blue like denim the light blue unfortunately I don't really wear the skirt because my personal opinion I find it too short uh, if you want to have a look at the skirt it's just a box for me it honestly just looks it's so big it doesn't fit on the screen hold <laughs> so it's a box so it's not shaped in any way so it kind of stays funny on my body because uh, I go a little bit in in the waist and I sort of need things to be tucked in a little bit in there. But I got a bigger size because I wasn't sure of their denim and I wanted to make sure it fit. But anyways, so I want to see if I can do something on the hem and make this a little bit longer or maybe like, you know, put it in sort of the trend that's in now, maybe something like 2000s, 90s. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we've got this. We'll see what we can do with it. And it's going to be my last item of upcycling. So I have this top, the one I was saying, and I'm just going to unpick the back of it and then make it into a plain top and then we'll go from there. decided I'm going to tie dye the top instead of the dress because the dress just, the material is not for tie dyeing, so I'm going to do it with this. And we're back with the finished goods. So as you guys would have heard, there was a little bit of a trial and error and I had to change some of my plans a little bit. But all in all, I still have four items to show you guys and I actually think they all turned out pretty good. Well, I think so for myself. Uh, they're definitely things that I'm going to wear so I'm really excited about them. So let's get to showing. Okay, so I think the first item that I showed you guys was the dress, the one with the like leather front. So I have turned it into a skirt. Maybe you're probably thinking I might do that or did I tell you I was going to do that? I can't remember now. But anyways, it is now a skirt. So it looks like this. So I've chopped the top off. I did tell you guys I was going to turn into a skirt. I remember now. I was thinking maybe I would do like a crop top and a skirt. But as I was doing that, I got the idea that I wanted to put like a leather belt looking thing up the top. So that's what I did. So I've tacked it up there. So the 
middle still got that leather piece there and now the skirt is a little bit longer and more to like my liking that I would actually wear it because I do like me a leatherish kind of skirt and I like that this one is super comfy but also won't be as hot as wearing like a full pleather skirt because I do have a pleather skirt but it gets a little like sweaty and gross wearing it so I don't particularly wear it out however I think I could definitely wear this one so it looks really cute I mean I'll, I've got to try on the portion of this on the side which oh I thought that broke or something which um shows you guys how it looks like on me what do you think I think I did a decent job I actually had to hand sew the elastic around the waist because my sewing machine was playing up I'm not sure what the issues were with it it was totally playing up so I just hand sewed it pretty much I hand sewed anything that involves sewing only because my machine was playing up and I didn't know how to fix it and I just didn't have the patience to sit there trying to fix it but this is this item what do you guys think I think it's cute I like it so next we have the denim jeans those ones that I got from Fashion Nova that I've never worn in my life and I turned them into a bag. I'm so excited because I totally did it, guys. And it looks like this. How cute is that? So it looked a little bit plain, which I didn't mind. But if you know me, I need a bit of funkiness or something to it. And I had these lips. I know the American flag. It doesn't bother me at all. But I like that it's lips. I mean, just gorgeous. So I stuck, stuck it on the front. The difference is with the bag that uh, I had seen in the picture, it had two smaller straps. And I know personally that I'm not into those kind of bags anymore. So I made myself a nice long strap so then I could wear it cross body. So that way it's super comfy. This is big enough to even fit my laptop in here. Like there's heaps of room. I could even do like shopping in this and like put my shopping in there cross it across my body and it's so comfy that it doesn't bother me at all here's the back of it just the butt of jeans so like and the thing is i only hand sewed this in a few sections so if i got like bored of that i could always take the lips off and do the like sew on stuff you know the sew on like sticker looking things totally like always change it up or you could leave a blank but I think it's so cute. Like, I'm so proud of myself that I wear. I mean, this is definitely something I would wear. That's just who I am. Okay, that's this item. All right, next item. So you guys heard the debacle with the dress and how it didn't uh, tie-dye. So I still wanted to, like, tie-dye something with bleach because I personally have never done it before. I personally, I don't know about you, have been stuck in a, gone to a bathroom after my mum's cleaned it and gotten bleach all over the bottom of my pants and they've been bleached before so that's the extent of what bleaching I've done this is as a younger kid anyways so I bleached the black top so it turned out pretty good look at it guys so it's got like a pattern I didn't even expect this kind of a pattern I was the rubber bands I only had the ones that I used on the dress and because I had bleached that dress so much the rubber bands tore and I couldn't reuse them so I didn't have many but it still worked out pretty good so now I will definitely like wear this if I even wanted to like say crop top a style you could even just fold it up and wear it like a crop top but it's cute and definitely like underneath like jumpers and stuff and even when summer comes that I'm assuming that's still probably gonna be in this year I can still give it a go so I'm pretty happy with that like I think I did a good job I really didn't know what to expect since the first time it didn't work but I think this one worked so yay for that and now we have our last item which was the denim skirt that I wasn't sure what I was going to do but I needed a way to like lengthen it so what I did was I added length so I've put the lace on the bottom there which gives it a bit of length and I also put a few butterflies here just to give it a little bit of something like, I don't know, those like early 2000s vibes in the butterflies room. I feel like butterflies are coming back now. So I thought that would be cute and with like a cute little white top. It would look adorable, especially for like summer. I've got these white booties that I want to try and see how it works with those. And yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Like I did it all the way around to the bottom. So hopefully... Did I, I don't think I've tried this one on yet so you'll see the try on next to this and you're definitely going to fit I know but I think it's so cute and there are there all items that I did I was actually quite happy with what I've done today usually I try and do more things and therefore I kind of run out of ideas and also like the video will take me too long to do and I sort of wanted to do this in like a week period to try and you know not make it such a fast stretch between when I've done the idea and then when I do do it because sometimes I do tend to like lose my 
also like not motivation but like you know the the drive to like want to create something so i did it all and i'm happy and yeah so comment down below which item was your favorite and yeah that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so join the stanzi star family and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye